Here is the final design for the light driver for the model train display. All the way to the left is the voltage regulator and that is really necessary even though I'm using a power supply that says it's regulated it's not as clean as necessary. Without that regulator, these chips do really strange things. So uh, my recommendation is if you're going to be working with solid state devices, always use a voltage regulator. The first time that I uh, built something with solid state devices and they were doing really bizarre things, I go, what in the world is going on? And it's because the voltage wasn't as clean as it needed to be. So that's why it's there. And the next chip over is the 555 timer. And the way I've got this set up, the LED driver can be driven from about 40 seconds to about 8 minutes. Now the train museum was uh, wanting about oh three to four minutes so this will definitely cover it so if they want something shorter they can certainly get it and, and if they change their minds and want something a little bit longer that's no problem the next chip over is the 4017 now that is the decade counter so the 555 timer clocks the decade counter and it goes from 0 to 9 and the uh, inner numbers are the pin numbers associated with 0 to 9 and obviously they're not in order. Then if we look at the last two chips all the way to the right the ULN 2803APG. Those are two eight array Darlington amplifiers, NPN Darlington amplifiers. And I've got listed the pin numbers and where they go. And rather than using or filling up one of those chips, and then just putting two on the second one, I decided that I would do five and five, which would make it easier on both chips. The common I've uh, got attached with a 10K ohm resistor to positive just to keep it from floating around. But if you ground that, if I would ground the uh, common at the top, the first five diodes would light, and if I ground the bottom one, the next five diodes would light. And the train display is going to have about two LEDs on each one of those outputs. So we're going to end up with eventually 40 diodes lighting up the display. And we're not there yet. Uh, I gave them about 20. Uh, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. I've lost count. I've been so busy uh, making sure that the circuit works. I've lost count of the diodes. So anyway, I did some videos. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Here is the build for one of these. Now, I made two of these for them. So that means that they've got 20 outputs and they can put two on each. And they've got about half of the diodes right now. And all the way to the left is the voltage regulator and then the next solid state device is the 555 timer. Then the next chip is the 4017 and then the next two chips are those 8-array NPN 
Darlington amplifiers. So I gave them a picture of this in case they happen to pull out uh, one of those wires. They can tell where it's supposed to go. And I, sit, and I used the same pattern. In other words, the first two and then every other one. And then on the next chip, the first two and every other one. Okay, I've got all 10 lights, LEDs hooked up to it, and the time period with this turned all the way this way is about 40 seconds, and it'll change, there it goes, and if I have it all the way this way, that's about eight minutes. So, turn that down. And it's been running for several hours, so I'm convinced that uh, we've got a good build here. This video is of the display as it's running, and I'm going to edit it so you don't have to wait three or four minutes to see things change. And just keep in mind that we have about half of the LEDs that are going to be on this display. And to speed things up even more, I have taken stills of the different situations that come up. Having two drivers, every time that I walk by this display, it was different, which is uh, very good. And when they get the other LEDs in, it will be even more interesting. Every time you walk by, houses will be lit and it'll just be different every time that you look at the display. And the LEDs that I bought were AC-DC. They were 12 volt, 6 watts, and I chose the warm white rather than the blue white. I think the warm looks uh, much better. And... Uh, now that I'm looking at this, I made the right choice. This looks really good. Thanks for watching.